I would like to start off with um, a land acknowledgement. So as we have come together, let's just take a moment to acknowledge the land where we are, the ancestors of the land, and the indigenous people who continue to live in the regions that we occupy. So I acknowledge that I am on the traditional unceded land of the first people of the region of Mount Shasta in California, the Shastan and the Winneman Wintu, who speak the dialects of the Hokan and Pinutian languages, respectively. And if you know the people whose land you occupy at this time, I invite you to put their names in the chat, the names of the original people of the land that you're on. Homo Oloni Hohokam Ut Celts Weyot Southern Miwok Cherokee Shawnee Iro Iroquois Mother Angus Mexico Paiute Karuk Hawaiian Algonquin Pota Wanimi Tangva Songki and Eskimat. Forgive any mispronunciations. Ar Arapo Lenapi Shoshone. Beautiful. So let this acknowledgement serve as a reminder of our inextricable connection to the places that we inhabit, as well as a reminder of our connection to the earth across species and across time. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Um, Debbie, do you have your hand up? Do you want to speak? Okay. I don't see how to put that hand down. So at this time, I would like to invite you into a comfortable posture, one that suits the unique needs and frame of your body. Disregard any notions of how you think your posture should be based upon images, or perceptions and allow yourself at this moment to be a student of your body and to let it guide you into a posture of ease and presence. Before taking up your anchor, your object of focus, I invite you to allow your awareness to travel up the body from that foundational place, seeking out any places of tightness or holding or constriction and send the energy of spaciousness there
coming up through the lower leg into the knees and thighs. Allowing the hips to spread across the surface. Bringing special attention to the abdomen, releasing the muscles there. And noticing the navel as it flows into the center of the room on the inhale and contracts back towards the spine. You do you need do nothing. Allow the spine to grow long out of the bowl of the pelvis to the extent that is kind to your body. And perhaps bring your awareness to any more spaciousness you may find in the torso. More room for the lungs to expand. to open and lift the heart forward. And allow the shoulders to fall away down towards the earth. Notice the hands. Perhaps lift them slightly from the wrist and allow the joints of the fingers to hang softly. Gently place them back on their surface. Allow the back of the neck to be an extension of the spine by tucking the chin slightly towards the chest. And bring your awareness to any changes that may be happening in the body as it begins to settle. And the invitation now is to bring your awareness into the jaw, the secret place of tightness and holding. Perhaps part the lips slightly and draw them back together, barely touching. The tongue rests softly in the bed of the mouth. The eyes the eyeballs are nestled into their sockets. And the skin of the face and the scalp around the ears, the whole flesh of the body rests softly 
on the architecture of your frame. Allow your awareness to drift into this ease in the body. As we allow the body to relax, it invites the mind to settle. And when you feel resourced, when you feel the calmness in the body, that's the time to take up your anchor, your object of focus, whatever it may be, the breath, the rise and fall of belly or chest, points of the body that are resting on the surface. And allow your awareness to rest there. We spend so much time in the external world. These moments are gifts. Do not wrestle with thoughts. Simply be a witness, allowing them to rise and pass away as leaves drifting down the river. And when you notice thoughts have arisen, gently and kindly, bring your awareness back to your anchor. And feel into a sense of joyfulness that mindful mindfulness has returned. Greet it, welcome it, turn all your attention there. And continue to practice in this way.
Should you find thoughts arising that are recurrent, difficult, or unpleasant, perhaps there is some part of the body that is calling for attention. Each thought has an accompanying sensation in the body. Drop the storyline and find the felt sense in the body. Investigate there. Perhaps offer it tenderness, compassion. And when the time is right, return to your anchor, to your object of focus.
in another minute or two, we will end our session of mindfulness meditation with the sound of the tone of three bells. <laughs> 